Hi, this is Daniel Hutchins, and today we're going to be doing another Screen Rant article discussion. So today's Screen Rant article discussion we're going to be talking about is who is DC's deadliest non-powered villain? Okay, so this was an article hot off the truck that was posted 11 hours ago. So here we go. I'm going to read you some information. So, okay. So, DC Comics' colorful catalog of dastardly supervillains consistently keeps the like of Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman on their toes. Still, a villain doesn't necessarily have to be super to be formidable. Some of the most intimidating villains in the DC Universe are individuals who don't have any superpowers at all. Thus, fans have often wondered which is DC's deadliest non-powered villain. And there are several qualified candidates. So first we have Deathstroke. Slade Wilson, aka Deathstroke the Terminator was created by Marv Wolfman and George Perez for 1980's The New Teen Titans No. 2. Wilson joined the army at 16 years old and quickly became one of the military's most highly decorated war heroes. He was assigned to a covert government fighting force called Team 7. After being fatally shot on a mission, Wilson was revived and enhanced until he became the ultimate super soldier. In Deathstroke No. 0, Slade abandoned his military career and became the legendary assassin known as Deathstroke. Deathstroke is a genius level intellect, skilled combatant, expert marksman and enjoys rapid healing and decelerated agent. While more recent incarnations tend to push him to the super side of things, Slade Wilson is traditionally considered one of the deadliest non-powered villains. Okay, so related to this article, Catwoman just created her own version of the Bat Family. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about something else. So hold on a sec. I'm going to turn on my light. Alright. So next on the list is Lex Luthor. Created in 1940 by Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster for Action Comics number 23. Lex Luthor is one of Superman's oldest and deadliest adversaries. Originally portrayed as a generic mad scientist, Lex has evolved into a sophisticated billionaire CEO with designs on world domination. Not long after moving to Metropolis, he funded the multinational conglomerate LexCorp when not undermining the Man of Steel. With his money and influence, Lex relies on his war suit to battle Superman. The most recent version of the suit was unveiled in Action Comics number 957 and made to resemble Superman's uniform. Luther's hand-to-hand -hand combat training and a plethora of expensive gadgets make him a formidable, non-powered opponent. His greatest strength, however, is his mind. Lex Luthor is the smartest human being in the DC Universe. Next on the list is the Joker. The Joker was created by Bill Finger. Bob Kane for Batman number one. 
also in 1940. Speculation about exactly who the Joker is and where he came from could fill several articles this length. All that's truly known about the Joker is that he fell into a vat of toxic chemicals which left his skin as white as his ever-present smile. Batman 3 Jokers number 3 had recently revealed that the Joker had a wife and a child who faked their own deaths to get away from his insanity and abuse. Bruce Wayne and the Gotham Police Department know their whereabouts, meaning that Batman knows Joker's true identity, even if the readers don't. And Joker's exposure to toxic chemicals granted him resistance to pain and immunity to the Joker venom. He is a skilled fighter and a brilliant tactician. However, his demented genius is often also his downfall. Next, we have Harley Quinn. Dr. Harley Quinzel, aka Harley Quinn, was created for Batman the Animated Series in 1992 and quickly transferred to comics. Harley's character has changed dramatically in her short existence, having evolved from Joker's psychiatrist to his girlfriend, to standalone villain to occasional good guy. Harley shares many of Joker's abilities. She has an affinity for weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat and immunity to Joker venom, having fallen in the same toxic acid as Mr. J where she supersedes her former mentor and love interest is in the sanity department. Perhaps her higher education of psychiatric background has endowed her with a slighter and better grasp on reality, at the very least. She can work in concert with team members from the Suicide Squad without killing them, mostly. While the aforementioned villains are not the only non-powered bad guys in DC Comics, they are among the most lethal. That being said, one of the candidates stands a hairless head and shoulders above the rest. Lex Luthor is the deadliest non-powered villain in DC Comics. Lex Luthor encapsulates and improves upon all the best aspects of his fellow antagonist. With the aid of his income and intellect, Lex is as lethal as Deathstroke, as smart as Dr. Krenzel, and sometimes as crazy as the Joker. Moreover, Luther has to step ahead of all the other baddies to try and take down the greatest superhero of all time, Superman. So there you go guys, that is just a little bit of information I want to share about who is the deadliest DC supervillain. So if uh, you like this content, make sure you hit a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't yet. And you guys have a nice day. Bye.